The scandal surrounding the defiant Spanish Soccer Federation president, Luis Rubiales. Now, he's now being publicly supported in dramatic fashion by his elderly mother, commencing a hunger strike in public. But the situation has only gotten worse for Rubiales, as the top commission inside the Spanish Soccer Federation today demanded that their president resign immediately, now eight days after he two-hand grabbed the face of top player Jenny Hermoso and kissed her during Spain's World Cup winning celebrations. The remaining defiant, Rubiales declared that he will not resign, calling the scandal, quote, social assassination based on false feminism, close quote. Now we're joined by Johnny Gold, sports journalist and podcast host of Johnny Gold's Jewish State. Joining us from London, good to have you back, Johnny. And Dr. Shlomit Aharoni Lear, a feminist activist and gender researcher from Bar Ilan University. So thanks for being with us. Uh, Shlomit, first, uh, you know, from your perspective, I mean, has this scandal, uh, which it is now full blown, been handled correctly at any level by the Spanish you know, uh, sports authorities there? How do you perceive this sort of calamitous way this has all been playing out? Yeah, I think uh, the demand for him to uh, to resign is totally just. We can see the effect of the Me Too movement and zero tolerance towards uh, sexual harassment. Uh, and uh, it is encouraging to see uh, that uh, this uh, is also supported by the international community. Uh, Johnny, coming to you here, I mean, the latest decision, of, you know, by the Spanish Federation uh, Commission, you know, it didn't remove Rubiales, I don't think, you know, by, by design, but it underscored, I think, that he's now lost all support inside this organization that I think had really defended him until just a few days ago. I mean, they issued some statement not long ago, sort of questioning Hermoso's account of the incident. So is he out on his own now, Rubiales? Is it just a matter of time until he reads the writing on the wall? Yeah, Rubiales is on his own here. Uh, he is toast. Uh, but what a tragedy this is for women's football, because it turns out that the existential threats to the game come from within. One of the triumphs of men's football, which is, well, 160 years old, is that it was enjoyed and grown around the world through its merits on the pitch. But when we have progressive ideas that subsume the success of the Spanish women's team. And let's not forget, Spain is one of the foremost nations in football on earth. For their women to compete and win the World Cup in their first World Cup final, play fantastic football reminiscent of the Barcelona school, real Spanish all up, and for it to be subsumed right. by totally an argument from the progressive Hijacked. Score, yeah. I yeah. think it's an absolute tragedy for the game. I think it's a real shame, and the existential threat lies from inside the game. More to discuss on that in a second. I want to come back to you, Shlomi, though, on, on the, Hermosa herself, the player. You know, she called herself, you know, a quote, victim of an assault. You know, taking this seriously, obviously. She has a two week period, if I understand, to bring formal charges. At, at this point, given the obstinate Rubiales, is, is this an important step for her to do, uh, you know, in the, just the public eyes as, as a case example? What, what should happen from here? Definitely, it's so important that she calls out an, an harassment as an harassment and not like, uh, you know, in the past, women used to keep quiet just in order to preserve the place. But it's, uh, it's really important. And also it's televised, so you cannot uh, deny the harassment was there. And so this is really, really important that she speaks out, that she is supported by uh, feminists around the world and also by the general public, because uh, really this is uh, not called for and totally unaccepted. And Johnny, back to you on this, you touched on this, the sort of implosion of Spanish soccer, women's soccer here. I mean, the, the Spanish women's team, they've got important games, if I have it right, in the UEFA Nations League coming up in September. None of these winning players are, are, are have, see, will play on that team. Much of the coaching staff has already uh, resigned in protest as well. Did we just witness Spanish women's soccer go from the top to the bottom within a week? Yeah, it all comes back together when Rubiales is finally sacked or removed from his post or they'll come to some kind of a deal. But I stress this point that, um, you know, football has to decide, and this is in the men's game as well, where they place um, ideas of anti-racism onto a game which has its own merits already. You know, football has to decide what it is. Is it a sport clean of progressive ideas which will implode and eat itself as we are seeing? 
But I, I'm really desperately trying to enjoy, even though I'm an England fan, Spain's deserved win in this competition. They beat England fair and square, and we were good. We were European champions. We are European champions. Spain came along, they played magnificently in the final. I didn't expect them to beat us so comprehensively. And it's been subsumed by this argument. I, the merits of the argument are, you know, clear. I, I, I don't... Uh, I don't disagree with the idea, but the idea that the progressive movement is completely subsuming the game from the outside is absolutely regrettable and will turn millions away from a game which is beginning to cut through. No, 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 no. So let me feel free to respond. I disagree. Yeah. I would like to disagree with it. Mm -hmm. Everything is political. I know, uh, and because men were the main target of food, uh, football games uh, for years, so we didn't see this. There was no need of this uh, political side uh, in, in the like sexual harassment, harassment to be treated. But uh, you cannot just sit back and enjoy the game when this is going on. And in fact, the call for a complete reform uh, in a very hegemonic, men-oriented organization is really in due. Uh, we do want to see more women play football, but we want to see women who are treated with respect and not harassed in front of everyone to see. This is so basic a demand. And the idea that you can put the politics aside and just sit and enjoy the game is totally unacceptable. Uh, so me, that's, that's how football used ahead, to be Jeff. for the first 115 years of its existence, and it's why it spread from England and Scotland to South America to Central Europe. It, was, it had been subsumed by this progressive movement of which people are not interested in football. They're more interested in a progressive idea than football would have never uh, achieved its worldwide fame. And that is the design fault, I think, of the women's game. It must make itself clear of it. We have the problem in men's football. There have been some anti-racist references brought into the English game, which were an absolute disaster. Black Lives Matter was supported by uh, the English Premier League. Players took the knee. It was deeply unpopular. Football survived you 150 years without to, it. You, you opposed to calling the Olympic Games in uh, Germany during the World War II uh, uh, something that uh, that needs a uh, uh, worldwide attention? Of course we have to protest. Of course we have to, to talk and speak out when there is harassment, when there is a racism. Uh, the game is a wonderful, I love football. It's a wonderful game. I like uh, viewing uh, women and men play football, but we cannot uh, keep silence uh, when this occurs. And it's really uh, the international community and the Spanish community is really now a test to really uh, walk the talk and not allow this to go on. So I don't agree yes. with any of those points, but the, the whole point of this is that it has completely subsumed the women's game and the world cup is the greatest showpiece for the women's game here was an opportunity and spain played the best female football i've ever seen they played reminiscent of the great barcelona university is that forgotten yet it's forgotten it's a shame it's not a shame because it's a battle worth fighting for because maybe now there will be a short delay but in the long run we can see women go on court feeling that they belong feeling that they are safe feeling that they are treated with respect this is not much to ask this is like basic and uh, and i think it's worthwhile to pause everything and to make sure nothing like that happens in the future Dr. Shlomit, I, I, right, I, I appreciate you both taking part of this out of time for this discussion, but thank you both contributing. Obviously, a, a big issue to discuss and the ramifications we'll likely be discussing for some time to come still. So thank you both for coming in today.